What do you see? Yeah, man, give, give. Well, the way I see it, two brunettes, two redheads, and a blonde. I can't see a thing. My glasses keep steaming up. Well, then hot breath will do it every time, Mr. Parker. You see, the trick is to inhale and hold it while you look. Oh. Thanks, Group. Hey, what's with the Quartermaster Liberty, boys? What's going on? Hey, take it, Glenn, yourself, Skip. A new batch of nurses just came in. Oh? Hey, it's about time somebody did something about beautifying the scenery around here. Yeah, hey, <laughs> fight that little blonde, Skip. Boy, I'd sure like to share my foxhole with her. <laughs> The rest of the pigeon skipper. Well, cold lead bottom doesn't catch you. It's open season, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Chuck, you better get moving. That blonde is naked there, you know. You, you better get to her before she starts drifting. Yeah, well, I was uh, just waiting for the smoke to clear, Skip, before I fire him first shot. <laughs> Ensign Parker, executive officer on the 73. I thought you might need a little muscle with your gear. Oh, well, thank you very much, Mr. Parker. Um, uh, Chuck. <laughs> well, Chuck, I'm Georgiana Comstock. Well, uh, welcome aboard, George. <laughs> Georgiana. Oh, yeah, Georgiana, yeah. Well, if anybody doesn't look like a George, you sure don't. <laughs> with, uh, <clears throat> well, uh, you better get your legs. Here. Uh, Skip, uh, hold up the war, will you? Got a little lady to help out here. <laughs> Couldn't we ride to the nurses' quarters? Huh? Oh, no, that's Captain Vincent. <coughs> Jeep, Jeep. And, uh, well, uh, he'd have us in irons if he ever found out. But, uh, <clears throat> well, I guess it all comes under the spoils of war, so <laughs> hop in. <laughs> I'll just throw these up here for you. <laughs> Hope you haven't got anything breakable in there. <laughs> well, here we go. Oh, oh boy. Knock it off! There's your work! Oh, if Captain Bingham never hear that. That's not gonna do any good. Try under the hood. Huh? The wires. The wires under the hood. Parker, what are you doing in my jeep? Well, sir, I'm just uh, right now I'm trying to get out of the wheel. Well, get out of the wheel. Turn that thing off, you dumb scout. Right. right. Hurry up about it. <laughs> ah, you bastard. Dig out. Hey, kid, the bastard. Captain Wally Bingleton at your service, my dear. How do you do? How do you do? I'm Lieutenant Comstock, and this is all my fault. Oh, that's quite all right, Lieutenant. I'm only sorry I wasn't here to offer you the jeep myself. Can't you sit out the horn? I'm trying, sir. Here, let me help you, Chuck. Oh, thank you, my dear. Thank you. Why couldn't you have done that? Well, well I, I'm sure that he could have fixed it himself, Captain. Couldn't you, Chuck? Well, yeah, sure, Captain. It's very easy. All you got to do is just loosen this little gizmo here. Look. <laughs> Stand back. Just came 
came in from Binghamton, Skip. Orders for Mr. Parker. Orders for Mr. Parker? One of that gold-braided stuff shirt has up his mind. Oh, no. What is it, Skip? Uh -huh. Did he really clobber Mr. Parker? Now, Lead Bottom's just getting even for that oil bath. Hey, listen to this. Ensign Charles Parker to report to the main base to be the officer in charge of basic training for the new nurses. You're kidding. You mean instead of getting 30 days, he gets to get all those dames? Have you ever stopped to think about Mr. Parker's morale, huh? It's just like being taken out of action and told, go sit with the girls. Well, I know what it would do for my morale, Skip. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Home, hot lips. All right, listen to me, boys. This is what we're going to do. We got to build up this assignment. We got to make him believe that this assignment is his second only to McCarthy. You got it? And we build it up big, you understand? And loud. All right, here we go. There you are, Chuck, front and center. You mean Mr. Parker got the job? I thought it was a toss-up between Halsey and Nimitz. The Secretary of the Navy asked for him? Yes, sir. Great for Mr. Parker. <laughs> What's up, Skip? Oh, hi, Chuck. Listen, you got a new assignment in addition to your regular orders. Here, congratulations, buddy. <laughs> Me? What? what the... <clears throat> Give basic training to... To girls? Oh, well, no, no, no. This is a pretty top-level job now, Chuck. Uh, you know, anybody can can toughen up a bunch of guys, but it takes a, a special type of he-man to uh, make a soft little girl into a hard combat-trained nurse. Yes, sir. Guts. That's what you need. Guts. <laughs> Guts. That's right. And that's an awful lot of responsibility to put on a man's shoulders. You betcha. Well, here. Here, look at this. First assignment for tomorrow. Judo and self-defense. Now, that's rough. That's <laughs> rough. Yeah, that is rough. <laughs> Oh, well, it is, boy. Well, I guess if the job has to be done, it might as well be done by me, huh, Skip? Boy, hey, now Georgiana will see the other side of me. The hardest nails fighting man. Only me, Papa Song. Yeah, well, I know it was him all along. I'm just showing you guys I'm ready to spring into action at any time. See that? Always alert. Always on balance. Make sure that nobody comes in from behind. Ha-ha! Hey! Stuck up here. Okay, that's all the demonstration today. The class is over. All right now, men. Uh, <clears throat> girls. Uh, as you know, we are in a combat zone. <clears throat> now it is my job to check out the shapes that you're in. <clears throat> I, I mean, it's uh, my job to make sure that you're in good shape. Can't you? Carry on, at ease. Right. <clears throat> at ease. Uh, at ease. I am at ease. She is at ease. Get on with it. Yes, sir. Get on with it. Uh, now, Lieutenant, I am going to show you how to properly defend yourself by giving you a demonstration in the highly technical art of jiu-jitsu. <laughs> now, could I have a volunteer, please? Uh, Lieutenant Comstock, front and center. Now, the idea is to offset your enemy with a simple yet skillful maneuver. <clears throat> For instance, taking the forearm and... <laughs> now, if you'll just pretend that you're the enemy and grab me from behind, I'll demonstrate my technique. Now, the enemy sneaks up on me, and when he grabs me... Oh, no, you should have used all your... Chuck, I'm sorry, but you said to. That's perfectly all right, Lieutenant. The ensign is capable of taking care of himself. Parker, you numbskull, you're supposed to be showing them how it's done. Well, I'm sorry, sir. I guess my leverage was a little off. I your leverage is off. Your pea brain is off. Up, 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 up. <laughs> well, I guess I got my leverage back, sir. <laughs> Why me? Why is it always me? Chuck! Hey, Chuck! Hey, Chuck! Hey, Chuck, you got a vista, boy. Georgiana came all the way over here just to see you. Georgiana? Yeah. Boy, if it's anybody I don't want to see, it's her. Oh, now, come on, Chuck. I think you're being overly sensitive about the whole thing. Overly sensitive? 
Let's face it, Skip. The girl I tried to impress is a better man than I am. And for the tenth time, I'm telling you, it was a lucky throw. It could have happened to anybody. That's what she came over here to tell you. No kidding. Yeah, it was a lucky throw, that's all. Hey, you know, maybe you're right, Skip. I'll bet you in a fair fight, I could have taken her two out of three falls. Well, of course you could, slugger. Now, come on. You're the executive officer of PT-73, and she's just a puny little nurse. So come on, boy. Get squared away. Plot your course. Yes, sir. Start your engines up, anchor. Jill, of that kind of talk. <laughs> Well, uh, Lieutenant, Henson, <laughs> well, the uh, place is yours. Well, why don't you show around, Chuck? <laughs> show around. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, right, well, uh, we'll, we'll see you later. <laughs> hey, you go ahead now. <laughs> now, come on, boys, let's go. <laughs> come on, will you? Let's go. Come on, will you move? Let's go. Let's get out of here. Oh, uh, well, I just thought it might be of interest for you to see how we, uh... <clears throat> combat men live. Oh, it is. It is. Oh, uh, this might be a point of interest. Uh, <clears throat> this is a uh, 50 caliber machine gun. Oh, and uh, this is an anti-aircraft gun emplacement. Uh, oh, and uh, that's a Japanese Zero. Now, see, when they... A Japanese Zero! <laughs> hey, take attack! How about it? Take cover! <laughs> shot down at zero. I, I didn't mean to. I'm sorry, honest. Hey, good shooting, Mr. Parker. Yeah, 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 boy, congratulations, it. Chuck. I'm proud of you, boy. <laughs> Don't congratulate me. She did it. Hey, Skip. Uh, Skipper, he did it. Mr. Parker put in for a transfer. He what? Fuji here found that carbon copy on his desk. Oh, this is just great. Do you guys realize what'll happen to Chuck if he transfers out? We know. Without us to look after Mr. Parker... Oh, stop. It's too horrible to even think of. Yeah, we got to get him to change his mind and fast. But how? Mm. How, 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 how? Georgiana! Skip, have you flipped? Why? Why, in the name of Nimitz, would Parker put in for a transfer? I don't know, sir. He just asked me to give it to you. Mm, I don't know, sir. He just asked me to give it to you. Does it smell fishy to you? It smells more like beer to me, sir. <laughs> well, I did have one with my lunch, but I don't see what... Oh, never mind a beer. I tell you, I don't like this. For one year, I've been trying to break up that gang of pirates, and then all of a sudden, very politely, one of them walks in here and asks to leave. Now, why? Why is that? Why is Mikhail going in the hospital? I don't know, sir. I don't know, sir. Don't you know anything? Find out what it's all about. It might have something to do with this transfer. I want to know what they're plotting. Yes, sir. Wally, if I didn't have you on my side, I don't know what I'd do. <laughs> so remember, honey. All you gotta do is make like Little Miss Helpless, huh? Then when the boys come in for the big finale, dressed up like wild and woolly headhunters, you scream, they run off, and you make like Chuck's a big hero for saving your life. You got it? That sounds like a wild and woolly plan, all right. I only hope it works. It, it will, if you don't forget one thing. What's that? This time, whatever happens, just make sure that he's Tarzan and you Jane, huh? <laughs> Come on. Well, that's about all, except, uh, are you sure you'll be able to make it now? Oh, I'll be down at your boat no matter what. Okay, and we'll sneak you aboard, and it's off to Paliloa. See you later. <laughs> Chuck, 
Come on, boys, let's scramble. We got a mission. I'm afraid you're going to have to go without me, Skip. I'll put in for a transfer. Yeah, well, I heard all about that. Until your transfer comes through, you're still part of my crew. Now, come on, get moving. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, come on now, belay that. There's an epidemic on one of the islands, and they put an emergency call for a nurse. So come on, climb on board on a double. All right, let's go forward. Let go aft. Let's go. Take her, get us out of here. Captain Binghamton, Captain Binghamton, sir. Hi, Captain Binghamton, remember? Oh, yes. What's the matter, Carpenter? Did they raid the slumber party? Sir, they took me out of the hospital. They thought there was something wrong with my head, sir. Is that what they thought? Well, there's going to be something wrong with your head if you don't have news for me about Mikhail. Oh, I found out what they're up to, all right, sir. Nurse Comstock is sneaking off with Commander McHale and his crew, sir. They're sneaking off to Valley Low Island. Hmm. And the request for a transfer by Parker was just a smoke screen, huh? They're off on some orgy. That's right, sir. Isn't it terrible? Terrible. What are you talking about? It's wonderful. It's wonderful. I finally got that rat pack. Carpenter, get my boat. We've got a party to crash. Yes, sir. Go on, Carpenter. Put on your party things, would you? <laughs> All right, steady she goes, Christy. Now, that's uh, Pally Lower that we're approaching. <laughs> ah, I got a little cramp on my foot. <laughs> condition red, condition red. Complete reports some enemy sub in this area. Battle stations! We got a bandit, boys. Battle stations! All right, you heard it, Skip Bounce. Stations. <laughs> what about me? Uh, we've got orders to put the lieutenant ashore, Skip. By golly, that's right. We can't take a lady into combat. Christy, head for the beach. All right, prepare to launch the life raft. All right, you heard him, Christy. Head her in there. Prepare to launch the life raft. Now, I want you to take good care of the lady. Come on now, honey. Over you go. Easy does it. There you go. Okay. Yeah, Skip, what about that sub? No, 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 no. Look, boy, you're the only one I can trust to protect the watch while uh, we're gone. So come on now. Over you go. Skip, alone on an island with her. Oh, no. Look, ours not the question. Why? Ours is just getting a rap with the lieutenant. Will you? Come on. Boy. Let's go. Chuck, I, I'm so frightened. Please stay close to me. You frightened? Yes. Here we are all alone on a strange island out in the middle of nowhere. Thank goodness you're here to defend me. Oh, <laughs> Won't you, Chuck? Me? Oh. Well, 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 I'm not the medic. You're a nurse. Well, yes, yes, I know, but I'm all ab upset and nervous. You know, I just can't think of what to do. <laughs> and you're so calm and cool. Well, now, if we both stay calm, maybe we can think of something. Else. Oh, there. Now, why didn't I think of that, Chuck? You are just wonderful. Well, think of what? Well, the way you thought to use that handkerchief to tie up my ankle. I did. I did. Yeah, I thought. Well, uh, sit up here. I'll... I'll... Yes. Oh! Oh! How I thought of that? Oh. Uh, which one is it? It doesn't matter. Oh, the right one. <laughs> oh, Chuck. Oh, oh, that's one. Oh, that's... Oh, Chuck. Where not? Oh, I don't know. Yep, we're almost back before we dropped them off. Yeah, I know. All right, kill your engines. We'll drift in. All right, you headhunters, come on, boys. You're going out in about five minutes. Kick a treat. <laughs> Anyone for people burgers? Come on, now, get moving. When you George Ann will be waiting for hey, you. Skip, we got company. Oh, no. Bring up to Nina. How do you know where we are? Yeah. See you around, guys. Gotta see a man about a shrunken head. <laughs> Captain? Ah, oh, Mikhail, I really got you on your saltwater tramps this time. Did you find that girl, Carpenter? No, sir. But, sir, look what I did find. Come on. 
What in the blazes are they dressed for? Now I've seen everything. Uh, we're reducing their costumes, sir. Yes, sir. They're rehearsing for the uh, cartoon of Bollywood. Yes, sir. Rehearsing out here in the middle of the Pacific? Uh-huh. Uh, we don't want anyone stealing our routines, Captain. Now, Swanee! Yeah! Yeah! My dear old Swanee! 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 Mikhail, this is one folly of yours that is going to have a guaranteed run about 20 years, I would say. Now, where's the girl? Mikhail, are you there? Oh, no, my ankle. <laughs> oh, Chuck, you did it. You found us food. Oh, I wish I could have seen you climbing that tree just to get some food for little me. <laughs> Going higher and higher and higher. I picked and... these off the ground. I hope I can get them open now. They're uh, tough little babies, but if you hold them just right, you can. Uh, sometimes if you pound them. Don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll get them open for us. Oh, put that over there. What? Oh, look, 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 see, the leaves are still moving. Oh, it's probably the skipper coming back. Hey, Skip, we're over here. Hey, you guys. Oh, there it is again. Oh, Chuck, I see them. Oh, they're all horrible. It's hanging the head on us. Oh, protect me. Oh, don't lose your head. I mean, your head and your feet ready to go. All right, guys, come out. Oh, oh, they're all around us. They're over there. Okay, you guys, come on. I got you covered. Where'd you see? Uh, Chuck, uh, I, I, I was just trying to help you. Boy, have I ever been a prize sap. Well, go ahead, admit it. This whole thing's a big frame up to make me look like a big man. Chuck, you are a big man. Yeah, sure. I bet you didn't even hurt your ankle either. And I bet you that the skip and the whole crew are in on this thing. Chuck, look out, Japanese! Oh, you think you're playing with kids? Do you think you know Tinker and Happy dressed up in some of Gruber's old souvenir uniforms? They're real. Do something. Oh, sure. All right, come on, you guys. The show's over. Now, look, Georgie, and I that's just about a... Ow! Who does it? I said cut it out, and you can cut out that phony double talk. I tell you, they're real. Oh, sure. Don't you think I know a real Japanese when I see one? And I see one. All right, guys, stand back. No, I mean it. I got you covered. Okay, stand back now, you guys. I'm warning you. Well, I want to. Shouldn't we talk this over, you guys? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Are you all right? What happened? Oh, this is horrible. I thought that they were going to kill you, so I... I mean, you... Yes, yes, you, Chuck. Oh, you were just wonderful. You knocked out those two Japanese. I did? I mean, you did. Boy, how about that? Did you see me? Uh, I think I'm going to faint. Huh? Oh. Oh, isn't that just like a woman? He'll do it every time. <laughs> 